starts early, flash him off to kind of fight. And this is something you'll see commonly in showers as oh four people take it down. And now it's a five versus four situation. And are we going to see them continue pushing? FNS also working down short here. It's a two pronged approach here from Envy now as they move to the site. Nature, the brief peek here out of U Haul. He does spot the play, but Crash is going to fall foul of a paint shell from Chemicals. And Nature finally chooses to spring forward. Now we're in the 2v2, and FNS might not know what's about to descend upon him. It's Chemicals coming through. Another frenzy pickup, and Gangster cleans the stingers for everybody right now. As, uh, even Immortals having won that first round up to go there. Oh, Bomb Buddy, he's going to find food early in the round. That's going to slow things a little bit down here for Envy. They want to try and execute towards Hookah, but Caboose is going to be there. Pushes forward with the Stinger. Makes it a 4v4, and already the sidekick comes in from Envy. They're playing fast, Jordan. Yeah, and I love this, you know, and especially in this patch, the rebuy with the aggression. There's not really a massive advantage here for Immortals, and that's why the update was probably um, implemented. And now we're in a situation where Envy's in a three-on-one where you would say, oh, this should be an Immortals round. But the pacing and the trading by MD is what's going to probably close them out the round. Great opportunity for them to get the plant. Uh, Nature, rather, has no ch choice but to really hold his ground and try to let the rotate come in. Too fast. Nature's able to find one, but it's traded out instantly. And you're exactly right, Jordan. JC Stardy turns up after the spike is planted. Shot up is a long way away from assisting here. So we have a local two versus four situation. Stardy, though, just swings around. Gets rid of Mummy. Spike's still down, though. Aftershock's going to force food out of position somewhat, but FNS holds his ground inside U-Haul. It's a trade again. 2v2 now. IMT clawing it back a little bit, and Gangster gets himself the 1v1. 17 points of health, and it's not enough. Food finds his third. We're going to cut even it up on Envy. I mean, does the count as a rose? The it never got fired. The showstopper <laughs> gets shut down completely. 4v3 now. It's Crashy's tries to push up on the side, but shot up gets him through triple, and now it's Chemical's time to take the spotlight. No one in sight, and another race ult shut down. Mummy's able to find a kill from U-Haul, and here's Arden's Fury from Gangster. A 2v2 in the post plant. Shut up needs to find a way to clear this area with nothing but a fault line. And he's working independently right now of his Sova. Food knows he's going to get some aggression, but he's going to swing the corner. It's not good enough. Shut up takes his head clean off, and Gangster knows oh, Mummy was man. sat inside U-Haul. IMT, claw one back. That was so close to being completely an envy sided take. If that top of the truck and the A site, I think that's smart because when you see so much fat infatuation with the showers control early, look at even going as far as to use the breach alt right there to try to clear it out. Mm -hmm. They're, they leave things open like short A, but Raze is there. But on the other side of the map now, we see NVS there. putting pressure on Hookah. Not being able to get that kill is going to affect them greatly. If they got that frag on the backhaul player, they would have had sight in the round much easier. And we at least have a chance to create a post plant here. They get onto yeah, this B side after the losing the player. But look at all his presence now in back holes. I mean, Stani, yeah, can send dark cover. He can also paranoia through. It's tough, but it's winnable. The fact that they're all three on site, though, I don't like right here, as this is what's happening. The flash comes in, and the trades oh are very unlikely to stay fluent, but FNS picking up three right there, and Mame to close it out in a 1v1 right now. I can't believe the situation came back to this, Mitch. 20 HP in a dream for Mummy now. Again, fakes the shrouded step, doesn't check that side, and Chemicals only just five points of health remain. And Mummy is felled, giving Immortals a defuse here. Besides, hey, we're just gonna go straight up A. They're still in a good position to retake. And now we're seeing, now we're seeing Envy actually take ground from them. And Immortal is not being in the best position right here, but Stanley picks up a massive kill right there. Crashy's solid trade there, and now a 3v3 that to me is offense sided at the moment. Gangster sends the Aldrone in. You all is clear and he doesn't spot nearly as much as you may have hoped to in this kind of situation. It's a lot of information gathering tools here for Immortals. So Recon Dart used there, and that's the swing. It's a trade though. FNS is going to take Nature down. There is a Cyber Cage up on the site. <laughs> Gangster needs to try and find a way to... He's going to deal with the double peak at some point here, but there's, there's no trade. In fact, Crashy's just stayed around the corner. Puts himself oh. in a 1v1, and that falls apart for Envy. He was almost going to have to risk that Chemicals wasn't sticking. Yeah. Looks like that was an attempt there, of course, from the Shadows. Chemicals! Oh my! Okay, trades that kill. Finds Crashy's, but Crashy's was ready for it. Good trigger discipline there. Spray down for nature on the side. That's also going to be traded now to 2v1 situation. It's food on his own up against JC Stani. And the spike is inside Hookah. Flashes there. 
Blaze Wall also comes up. Food, does he know where Stani is? Stani's actually standing very close to the hot hand right now on the ground. There's only seven seconds left. Food's able to get the spike and plant it here, Stani. Gonna sit tight. Just pushing out a hookah slowly now. Food, God, you think he knew where JC Stani was with how he let that curveball go, but he doesn't have the information. It don't matter though. It's a headshot spray down and Stani, he's definitely feeling that. Here for Envy, very B-sided. Recon darts for all and sundry, and straight up be long here, so Envy really not wasting any time. Kchos could do some damage here, as Chemicals is able to take one down. Crashy's pushing onto the bomb site though, able to neutralize the close backhaul player, and now it's a tough 3v2 for Immortals to try to recover in. They're obviously just looking to do a little damage here on the eco round, so, um, you know, actually a pretty solid round for Immortals, all things given so far. And especially if they can maybe even take down one more here um, before the end of the round. It's a frenzy and a classic in the hands of the Immortals players presently. And again, based on how Envy are holding back off of the B side, it's been really hard to get some of these guns away from the mummy. Wasn't ready for the push there from Elbow Stunny. I mean, that's just impish the way he picks that. We're going to have a fault line on towards the site. Stani trying to push up there as well. Looks like Immortals are serious about this. Can they actually convert? JC Stani gets the trade on a Caboose and now we're in a 1v1. He has himself a Vandal. Pushes up on the corner and Immortals have done it. They enter the round, but nothing with frenzies and classics, but they can't get a defuse. They still look good and they make it costly for Envy, which is absolutely the most important part. That is a massive of Stani was able to fall back, but the tag is going to hurt him. Okay, run it back there. Use nature. Actually able to get rid of Caboose and shut down the ulting Phoenix. Food able to find a kill here, but Gangster from way on back gets rid of Food now. A 2v4, and the spike is down. Chemicals has a strange little angle, and oh, I mean the rolling thunder. Mummy's reeling as he's able to escape, but will be pursued. Usually, I'm just curious now how their after plant is going to look in terms of defensive setup. Jordan, they sold the fake. I mean, Immortals could sell ice to an Eskimo at this stage. I mean, they are keeping Envy at that site, and Nature finding a kill on Food probably doesn't help things either. Here comes the execute on B. Chemical's going to be planning now, and you can see just here how far uh, behind the eight ball is, is people Massive like Mummy kill. as he tries to come through. This is huge. Massive kill there, and I think, you know, they weren't expecting their backhaul player to go down like that. But now in a three versus three, where players are looking extremely low on the defense. <laughs> wow. I mean, for them to take this round away. Crashy's suspicions confirmed in the form of a face full of bullets. He'll have to play back towards Elbow now, but this thing is there really getting involved. Caboose pushes up on the side, tries to line up, but look at this, the fault line thrown over towards the site, forces him out of position. 3v1 though, and Gangster with the Spectre, the odd Spectre out has to make it happen with 30 HP, and Envy just sent like vultures. No chance for Gangster to get away. And that will be the defuse here. After losing the pistol, Envy force into the classic stingers, and they fire back. He's right. probably Satchel shortly. Our drone, there's chemicals, opens up the account on FNS. And okay, the Sheriff's finding their mark so far. 5v3, momentum favoring Immortals right now. Crashies also falls down and Caboose gets involved a little bit, but maybe it's too late. Spike is down. Food comes out of the hookah window now with a vengeance and sprays nature down, despite the fact he's nearsighted by the paranoia. Here's a 1v1. And that was the runner back expiring, so... Gangster still has a good idea about where food's going to come from, but the blaze wall enables him to get out of hookah run wow. and that's incredible! The curveball through the wall, Jeez. and Gangster. This aggression is awesome early, but let's see if it actually nets them anything here. Food's just going to continue with that phantom, and I love the aggression here, but Stanny and the boys were using the breach flashes <laughs> that we talked about are able to get the kill. So messy. Envy kind of get caught a little bit out in the open here. Oh, that's clever. Mummy goes through the TP from the A side to clean up JC Stani, but forced back now. There's going to be reinforcements through that same teleporter. Gangster, though, is traded out. We have a 2v2 before the spike gets anywhere near any of these sites. Envy pushed for that early info, and now Immortals, what can they I couldn't even put see what's, what, what Ray's ult was coming in right there. I was like, it was so many things happening at once. That was an epic fight outside there. Now, Two versus two situation, Caboose still staying aggressive. And I like this, you know, you don't want to just sit back in corners. You want to have depth and watch spots where you have information. Oh, trade comes oh. in and it, by them sticking together there, Mitch, it created an awesome two versus two trade mid round. And I have- just pushed up. Okay, doesn't sell much this time. Rolling Thunder immediately gets used on, on the teleporter here. All of Envy caught inside of it. 
three players at least hit by that rolling thunder. They still bounce back fairly well though. Shot up now trying to push up Hooker. Food was flashed, I'm certain of it. He got hit by a flash point, was still able to find the kill. And oh my gangster, he has seen better days. In a 1v3, he holds the spike, but he's in the octagon. And Envy are looking for a TKO. Little dart here. As he's looking for some sort of information, but Gangsta's not going to find much here. Hoping to isolate an opponent in a 1v3, but Crashy is just going to peek out knowing. Dire straights. Crashy's pushed quite far up, to be fair, with the shock dart. And Army is aware that his position is pretty well known. It doesn't really matter here. Envy now are just taking them to task. Caboose has made his way through the TP, and this is just momentum and confidence here for Envy. They are bristling, and nature is shuddering away. Uh, conversely, <laughs> there'll be an Aldrone overhead, and nature may not realize that, uh, yeah, he's on candid camera. Interesting, they're just kind of running up speed. I love the pacing from Immortals right there, but they still have four rounds right there of who is going to peak first here, but now Immortal is opting to just get aggressive here and simplify the round. Hopefully they can trade out positively here. Crashy's kind of holding the start, which could be massive. You get a multi-frag here. Chemicals not ready for that by the looks of things. FNS and Caboose posted up inside Hooker. Spike hasn't been planted quite yet. Shot up. Okay, sends a fault line in towards Elbow. Paint shells to the side and in midair. Caboose is taken down. Mummy with the Operator. FNS is there, and this could be curtains for Immortals on this first map. Gangster again, left in a 1vx scenario, post-plant. And he's revealed by the neural theft. All of the information belongs to Envy. And so does this first map. Quite a statement made here in this upper bracket final. Envy, they choose. And it looks like it's about to begin here with Jet out in front here, dashing into the bomb site. And they have the site mostly clear, except two under balcony. And they're going to go into trades here. But Immortals is coming out on top so far of the trades. Envy with two players to work with now. You have to work in with Caboose on this Rainer here. Running a little bit low on bullets. Yeah, has to swap up the Frenzy there as he was getting a little bit low in ammo reserve. And I mean, from this range, I mean, we, we love the Frenzy in general, but you're facing down four of that exact same weapon. It's uh, an early aggression from Envy. That's not really there. So they walk onto a site they have very little information about. Still, who needs information when you can go, brrr, shot up, gets rid of FNS and chemicals, <laughs> head straight onto the site. And there's no one sat in Boathouse right now. So Immortals are sitting pretty. Get off the tracks when the train's coming through as Immortal just starts with the <laughs> Omen Flash and they wrap all around Boat Mission. I love the sound effects you provide there. I might need you to do that a couple more times for me. Maybe even when I'm streaming, I can you just be in there the whole time. Just yeah, I will, I will cast your gameplay. <laughs> if it doesn't put you off, I'll be there, bro. I usually watch the stream a little bit now anyway. So just, just pipe oh, me man. in, bro. That's good. So Envy is probably looking to find a, a couple en exits here, huh? I mean, they don't have a chance of winning the round. It looks like they've accepted that, but they're trying to close off the exit spawn here, and it's not really doing anything. <laughs> as this is what I love about Immortals and what I was hoping. Um, so really, you just hope you win those early fights and have good contingency plans for when they do. So right here, boom, trade, dismiss. And this is exactly what we need out of Envy. Caboose able to get information and win fights and put them in an advantageous situation here. But Immortals is not letting up here as they're going to keep pressing into the A-bomb site and force Envy to hold the ground, which they do as Mame gets two frags and it's now down just to nature. Yeah, nature ain't seeing very much right now here with the paranoia. Also probably dealing with separation anxiety because he was the last one standing and FNS cleans him up. Picking breach on this map right there, Mitch. Yeah, I mean, you actually, it's hard to clear wine uh, without the breach, uh, you know, on this map. Like, you can't really do it with them here. It's obviously not the same if you have a Rainer instead or something similar. Still, Envy hold their ground so far on this A site. Chemicals trying to forge ahead on the site and food. It's going to... There, there's a couple ways, but it's, it could be costly. You could use your raised paint shells if you got them. You know, you could you could use a Silver Drone or Dart, but it's, it's you know, it's not as easy as simply just throwing the breach clear. And... A rolling thunder through market or through B main. I mean, Gangster, that's a free one. You'd love to see it. Here comes there it the Execute. Is. Quick as you like, the dash on the side from Chemicals. He was holding the spike and though, and that it. now has been dropped along with his rear end. Crash is gonna sit up in the corner here. And there is, of course, FNS sitting inside Boathouse. Plenty to work with here for Envy and what looked like it could be a really spicy take from Immortals gets shut down and stopped oh. in its tracks. I thought my uh, I thought my narrative was about to come true there, everything from here. Sure. But I was thinking that from the get-go. If he just stays still, he would be having a chance. Oh, here's a big 4K option here as the recon dart comes through and gives FNS two kills and a much more damage here. And Envy in another position to set up that brick wall defense uh, that we were talking about. Envy look like they're happy to play in the mud with the mortals now. And uh, Gangster's stuck in 
B main here with very little in this Owl Drone. Well, cool information there. They don't know anything about JC Starney's position, but it crashes. He's just quick on the uptake, and he knows what's coming. MV put Immortals to bed once more. All the trades, and that seems to just tell the tale for the rest of the round. Flashpoint. Oh my, Chemicals has his bell rung. And of course, Caboose was able to get out of there essentially. Another flashpoint used here in food, not in the position to trade. He actually used a runner back beforehand. He as well is going to get knocked over, and this is a golden opportunity presenting itself now for Immortals. Lockdown was used, but destroyed. JC Starney pushes deep up here on this A side, and FNS. Has to try and make something happen here from heaven. I don't think he needs a new rule. Femby knows where everybody is, but that's the trade there. Shot up gets shut up, but JC Stardy is in the mix. Crash is now in the 1v2. Oh, the timing! JC Stardy wasn't ready for that at all. The nature is extremely low at HP. Parrot recalled here. Crash is just getting a lot of this utility activated here, making it really, really hard for nature to do too much. That's the second nano swarm. No more stalling left. Crashy still has enough time to defuse, but has no idea where nature's coming from in the back. Envy now. JC Starney's in a position on top of Jenny, which is often not checked. Uh, even going up against Omens there, he's able to use the shrouded step just to find a, a little bit more of a, an odd angle. You can see now, this is how the retake gets put together. Caboose is low, and Gangster says, okay, I'll spot you. That's, that's really enough for me right now. Food's going to try and use the Blaze Wall to get in position on Heaven, but again, can't see much of what's happening on the site. Flashes himself now. The wheel's starting to fall off the bus a little bit here. A shot up, runs Food over. It's just Mummy left now, and he just gets claimed the kill. And well, okay, they're going to make the execute on towards this site regardless. Food's forced back a little bit there by the Nana Swarm, but oh, are you kidding? The spray down seems so unlikely in that situation. Not only does Food get to, he survives. And that just takes the wind out of Immortal's sails as they try and execute with what they have left. JC Starney gets in there at the headshot on Mummy, but Food makes it three Massive for the round. Trades. He's done all he can. Now the rest of Envy have to get onto the side, but JC Starney is not having it. He gets wow. free himself. He's going to help them out, but he still has an angle, and he's Reyna. This is what he's built for. Ooh, but the reign of the Empress is cut short. Caboose knew he was in a bit of a compromising position. That Aldrone spotting him out kind of makes him look the fool. Blade Storm here by Chemicals, and oh, yeah, it looks like Immortals are going to try and make this a pretty quick hit. And again, there won't be exactly a very deep presence here. Blades being thrown just like the Drake gift, but Chemicals has to resort to the rifle in the end to get the job done, <laughs> and it works out. Wow. Quite the series of events here as tries to match it. Fire with fire and food doing the same thing and just saying really quick, hold this bullet for me as he tosses three John Whips. I think the, the, the secret sauce for Envious to take down Immortals is give them some of their own medicine. I think aggression, which we're seeing right now as they come up catwalk, is going to be the key for them to close out some of the rounds as half. Immortals is going to have to add some, add some habanero to that recipe though and get their skates on because the spike is down. Gangster finds Caboose early in this round here and Food's able just to nestle himself here under. He doesn't actually have uh, hot hands available, so he can't do that cheeky little molly that goes on the box. JC Starney's very low, but the frenzy just needs to be insanely reliable at long range. Immortals now find themselves in the 3v run, and Crashies oh has it all to do. Very unlikely to win this situation here. Uh, decent effort to get aggressive on the retake right there. Um... I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. That's a good effort. Could be. Of the soul, so he doesn't get as much health back as he maybe would have liked. Maybe the orb's still around the corner for him, but. Spike down, post plant, four versus three. And again, NP, they come with the spicy oh, sauce. And they, uh, it, they get that was going to be an interesting fight there because they, I was like, Spectre's about to beat the Stinger, but he got support from his teammate. And Immortal's doing a good job right now to keep the teamwork tight. Pushing yeah. smokes. Uh, I mean, that is what Envy are trying to do now, just to try and catch Immortals off guard. Caboose had a generator. Gangster was ready for it. Okay, the Spectre. Put some respect on that name. Gangster's able to use that in this round. This is, again, Envy trying to draw and force Immortals to part with some of his precious abilities. Chemicals tries to burst through the smoke and now Food wasn't ready for that. Ground taken there. Interesting. I thought something might have been able to happen there with FNS creeping up closely, but shot up playing super well there on the stairs this round and one of the mvps of the round there is he just stands strong uses ping, and he's able to provide support sooner than you would think so sometimes that's the big difference in just simply having people hold a site which they have right here they already have omen on the big play which is going to make a big difference that they could confidently hold the site here 
I mean, Envy have the unenviable situation of trying to force their way out of market right now to a team that's ready for him. If there's exactly fine, JC Stunny, but Caboose is down. Okay, here's some info for you. Neural Theft use and <laughs> the bomb, or the, the spike, should I say, is very quickly heading in the A direction. It is just going to be the one player against it at A right now. As this spike goes down, and Mummy looking for a backstab, but he's a little bit off pace. He's a little bit too far behind. There's a chance here, and depending on how well Crash is and FNS due to delay right here, he might be able to have some impact, but he doesn't want to just simply run. So right here, that dink is going to help, but they're going to just dash over the smoke, and it's not going to be enough. And after looking around for a couple of seconds, I bet one of them will at least be aware, hey, he could be flanking. I mean, gets there. Defuse it. Oh, no! The man he couldn't reload. to reload! And he just gets embalmed by Immortals. And I, I just think... Extend that... Or will it? That is disgusting! The Gangster gets crashed. That's also a vertical uh, recon bolt. And, I mean, he won't see the other two cross by, but, I mean, you get a freebie kill there, essentially. Back to a evened-up situation, though, as Nature now takes another kill, and it's a four versus three, but he's alone on the bomb side. Is he going to get one more? No, Caboose able to, to take him down. And now under three versus three, Caboose going to keep trying to apply pressure here as he's in the headshot angle, ready to swing and get one. Raj broken. FNS smartly covering the smoke there so as his omen has to jump across. And now it's turned into a three versus one and Envy's going to pick up their first round here. Chemicals may be forced to part with this hard-earned operator here. It's, you love that from FNS, right? He knows that the sound cue coming from Mummy, you know, shrouded stepping. And uh, hold a little bit more passive angles. Food here, though, with the ult. Are you ready? It's coming. It's going to give him much info. It doesn't give them much. And I'm surprised he ran that while he was alone here. But it looks like he's doing that because his team is opting into a fast beast slit here as Caboose is running down the stairs, not going to find anything. Who does catch a kill on the rotates and Caboose gets the frag on the back site, site secured. And now they're in a unique three versus four situation where uh, they have the advantage here in the bomb site. It's possible that Shot Up misreads where Envy are coming from there. He actually uses Rolling Thunder on mid and market, but most of Envy are executing actually from B main. Gangs is able to lurk late, finds food. There is other security yeah. available here for Envy though. So, I mean, uh, I mean, Crash is just committed to the site, so it's unlikely we see that in this particular round, but a 3v3 retake. Gangster wants the information. Mami sits back now as well. Time is short. Immortals, they have to go now. Looks like Speedway is going to be the play here. Shot up, drops in, finds one. It's Batman! Oh no! Immortals get the job done. Gangster going to attempt the defuse here and nice little quick hit onto that side for Immortals. And they're going to make it punishing for Ren. From Caboose's point of view, but you know, when you're the farther guy, you shouldn't be the first one to peek because when you're playing a bait and trade setup, the guy closer, you want him to get contact because if... He... Push coming in here from Mark and the Hunter's Fury makes shot up. <laughs> oh dear, an egg on the breach's face. You hate to see that. So Immortals again, in, in, in trying to gain that information, they just wager, they commit a little bit too much for it. And yet Gangster, who's not moved from this position all round, is able to find Caboose, who lingers too long by a market. Dangerous. This Big is dangerous. Kills. Big JC kills. Stani. And Stanny looking sharp even on his death right there. And now it's a two versus three situation. Immortals looking just to hold the line a little bit here. Stick together. Yeah. I like this play in spawn right here, Mitch. They're they're just kind of holding hands a little bit. Left. It's the preschool kind of concept here where you don't mm -hmm. need to get too far from each other because once they kind of let themselves be known with a bomb plan or some utility, you could rotate and catch the, the trades together. Nano Swarm here. Unlikely that'll be triggered. Oh, it is. Okay, Mummy gets a bit of a tickle, but again, no real harm or foul. He'll post up on Speedway now, and right now, if you don't have any information about what the defensive side spawn, defensive side spawn setup is. Hunter's Fury, this is ready for information, but if Gangster gets a kill, then that's just a bonus. Mummy now, stand and deliver, <laughs> and it's not remotely enough. Blame them for the setup. They have the good shock drops ready for the plant. Gonna do some damage here, and I think it's a smart fight for them to take, try to get a numbers game really. If you fall back in 5v5, it gets a little wonky here. And uh, now the dance begins. There. Typically, Immortals like to play retake on A. Uh, that's why you're actually seeing less frenzies from them and more ghosts, because they just know they're playing longer wrangles here. He comes to defuse though, so eventually Envy have to stand and deliver. They have to do something about this. Just a tickle and it's enough to you know, draw Mummy and Caboose into the trap. Now some of those frenzies get involved on the side. Crashy's now, he knows he has to get his hands dirty. There's really no other way around it. 2v1 situation, food gets the 1v1. 
Gangster has to defuse. He has to stick. There's no other choice than yeah, very classy. <laughs> the hot head to contact in here. I like the play. They just walk in. Crash is gonna get the bomb down fast. I'm almost gonna let the Ruma get destroyed there. And now they're just gonna back off here as they have the 5v4. And you don't really need to do much special here when you have all this utility ready to be used. You just need to make sure you don't let them push you. So someone needs to be kind of playing the spot off the crate a little bit. Runner back's available now as well for, for food. Pushes out. That was it there. Enables Mummy to find a kill on nature. FNS. It's a late lurk. The cloud burst actually initially kept him out of that position and shot up his I mean he's challenging this, which means only one other player from IMT is watching the side at some point. Chemicals are asked to try and find a way to make it happen here. But he tailwinds into a hail of I'm up in the kitchen, get a little close and maybe aggressive here, but I think they're just gonna op to stay back here. They got Caboose who's ready to kind of backstab here. Late, the key for him is not to die early. He's not in a big rush. Right when his team starts getting in a fight, you should see him move on the mini map. All right. Spot the yellow position there. Of course, Gangster Rabbit gets some information. FNS is there. Snake Bite also deployed to force FNS back somewhat, but doesn't force him out of this position. He just looks at all the, the pretty, you know, carpeting on the floor and says, okay, uh, yeah, anything else? Come and come and get me, baby. Gangster just gets completely ruined. Swiss cheese by FNS, who is. But the diffuser is coming mean, in. Can we stop this? Is there enough time? Oh. Just. <laughs> uh, Red, as you were talking, I kind of got caught those openings. And now, if without shock darts. Oh, they are actually going to get one food slipping up here. That's a common angle. He's got to be careful of as he falls from the site. Uh, and Immortal's about to start the retake here with the kill drill. Yeah, we have a Venn diagram of lockdowns here. It's going to be the attacker's lockdown that triggers first. One player actually detained that. Looks like Gangster up on rafters gets caught in that one, but he knows that he's pretty safe because the defender lockdown also triggers right after. No one caught in that one. And... We're back off to the races once more. This time it's going to be Envy forced off of the side a little bit more. Immortals are allowed to walk up just a touch. Chemicals with the operator. I mean, what does he see? Just enough. He gets rid of Caboose there. And now a 1v3. Crash East has to work in from a long way away. He hears the spike being tickled. But it's only so much he can do. And it's enough. Massive. He gets a couple stray bullets on Gangster. In and maybe he loses a little bit of that armor and health. It's a shock dart towards Boiler there. Doesn't catch anyone, but the player advantage is... It bodes well for Envious right now, as Gangster is just being speculative with some of these shots from Rafter. Viperwall gets replaced. Caboose is happy to sit in that, doesn't mind so much. And Gangster takes his head clean off. The waiting game here right now. For See what Immortals can do. I mean, they walk straight into a wall. Confidence and steam out of them. And, and now they're in another unique situation where Food's gonna run it back here and find another entry frag. And that just keeps happening. And that has so far has been the difference this game. No nature, so no wall on A anymore, but it looks like all eyes are on B. Food was hungry and he got his just desserts. Now, Caboos playing out of yellow here and if he can slow it down again, look at this. He can pull back out to, to A once more. Mame is going to... Oh, this position is just dirty. Gangster sees no, He doesn't cancel it. He still gets the kill. That is adding insult to injury now. And Immortals are out at sea. And Caboose is keeping him in place. Oh, no. I'm I'm, I'm surprised he even wanted to stick that ult. Because that's... You know, people rotate there so fast. Sure. So for him to win that fight is insane. And then he just smokes himself out and stays. And he's probably going to go down eventually. But if he gets one more, that is insanity. Oh, Mommy's accidental. A this is a rat also. position. Oh! Yeah. That's massive. It is traded though. So Immortals have the numbers. Just positionally, they are really behind the eight ball. Nature is another charge of Snake Bite. He actually has Viper's bit available here for uh, for the retake. So that may get used. Blade Storm also there for chemicals. There it is. Okay, and FNS catches shot up. Not ideal. And oh, the knives don't connect either. FNS finds himself yet another one. And Nature is alone here. Wow. Eight bullets, a dream. More of a nightmare now as the scoreline is starting to resemble this something. Game. It's filthy. The, the scoreline, like you're saying. No, that's gone completely wrong. I think Immortals were trying to deny that sight with the Vipers. It may not even matter, by the way, because food is already just strutting onto the B side, but that really punishes Immortals either way. Even mentally and chemicals walks into the crosshair. Envy have the download right now on Immortals who are struggling to vary their playstyle and get the drop on their foes. Yeah, Envious is, uh, Envy, Envious is fundamental. Um, just play across the board on each map. 
is paying dividends for them here in Icebox. They're not allowing Immortals to get the picks they want, and they're just punishing them with the aggression at the right time, and it's just adding up to the exact scoreline. This is looking much more like Envy in the latter half of Binds, Jordan. Pretty one. Awesome. That EU is going to have a slight edge because they play more fundamental. We obviously see that there is merit to playing aggressive like Immortals does, because when you win with that aggressive playstyle, it's probably very demoralizing for your opponent. Sure. It just can't rotate over, and this is where you can win a man down situation in a 3v4. Now, now 3v2, great opportunity. Mame here with the AWP. If he gets one, boom, 2v2, they fall back. They don't know where they're at. And now it could be a 10, another round for uh, Envy. Oh, okay, so FNS isn't rewarded for playing by Boiler because all of the Immortals players actually go towards Rafters for the retake. He might still have an opportunity, oh, but Mame gets is. rid of nature. This is your 2v2, Jordan. You teased it, the player down situation. Oh, it's all gone wrong. All right, this little spot from Chemicals. It's a nice variation, but does give his position away with FNS playing through mid. That is a player advantage early for Immortals as 100's Fury deals with crashes. But FNS has got Earth, him in a lurk now. position. One more. Perhaps Caboose. Okay. It's a trade. I like it. I think it's worth it. Standing ahead. B plan here. And there's two. a runner back available for food, Jordan, as well. Cover going out. Decent post plant situation now. And Mummy plays from yellow. Turret deployed here by Shot Up. Again, is not playing a duelist. Here it is, the runner back. And you can see all of the mortals try and make themselves scarce right now. Chemicals peeks out of the crosshairs and is devoured. Now, Mummy, again, gets to continue playing from this yellow position. Do they know where food is? No! Shot Up loses his head for it, and it's a 2v1. This is textbook from Envy Jordan. What an yeah. absolute demolishment. And, uh, you know. There's hope. I've seen it. It's happened. No matter what, in various esports, we've seen the situation. Um, you don't sound convinced, though. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, we'll see. I, I almost feel like not even talking. Watch this round. Let's see what let's see what happens. This pissed round. If they get some momentum off it, and uh, we'll talk from there. All right, Mitch. All right. Chemicals here at yellow. Again, gets rid of the recon down. Okay, interesting. Tailwind to get away from Caboose. So Caboose doesn't really have the chance to get the drop on him here. FNS steps up though, and the ghost rings true. It's 2v1 now, and Shot Up has it all to do. FNS on the defuse right now, but Shot Up should know this though from long range. He knows he can just spray down lightly, and FNS has no choice but to. They'll be using that Viper wall here on the B side to screen off and essentially make crossfires extremely difficult. It means the snowman is essentially pointless, but somehow Caboose, oh, he gets the no. drop on them. Oh One no, the bottom minute. falls out of the boat for Immortals and they are out at sea. No life jackets available as Chemicals is just looking left, right and center for a teammate. There are none left. Jet was trying to tap. Snakebite maybe used to try and force food out of that position, but he just sidesteps and he was already in trace. He was ready to receive this push for Immortals. Chemicals tried to come over the top of the night, but FNS finds himself too. It's a 2v2 and this is Immortals trying to stay alive. Crashies has a chance to end the series here and now. The spike is loose and not planted just yet. 17 seconds left with the double peak from Immortals. They are still dotting their eyes. Uh, who got the kill up top through the Viper wall? That was clean. 12-4. Um, Let's we'll see what Immortals... What are... It keeps them honest at B. Um, Stay down. Food could get aggressive and start clearing soon here now that they got that kill. But as they've come back here, Mummy's just in a prime position to keep getting frags and potentially get away right here. I don't, he might have just wanted to take the rope, but he uses the crowd step, gets away, and now Envy is in a solid five versus three on match point here. You see what Immortals opts to do here if they could find some kills without the trades coming from Envy. Here's the lockdown to start off the fight with. Now, Envy have four ultimates. Hunter's Fury being the first of those. Two. Oh, they get rid of the lockdown and they get a kill with the Hunter's Fury. That is huge. And that's going to pretty much seal the deal here. Gangster's left in a 1v4. Uh, the spike is loose and that will 